Excited to be here for this one. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. I feel like a Ford. How have I got these ringside seats? Time for our tale of the tape. And introducing first, it's Yelena Merdinovic. She's 170 centimeters tall with a 170 centimeter reach who fights out of Hay River, Canada. And imagine standing across from this woman. It's Katie Taylor. She's 165 centimeters tall with a reach of 168. And introducing first, it's Yelena Merdinovic, who fights out of Canada and has won multiple world championships in multiple weight classes. Katie Taylor, perhaps the greatest athlete Ireland has ever produced. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. And now we toss it up to the world-renowned ring announcer, Mr. Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Hay River, Canada, a women's three-weight division champion of the world, Jelena Mergenovic. Fighting out of the blue corner from Bray, Ireland. She became the eighth boxer in history to hold all four world titles, a two-division world champion, and an undisputed women's lightweight champion of the world, simply the best, Katie Taylor. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. What a night it is. You can hardly hear yourself speak. The atmosphere, the, the people at ringside. This is ridiculous. These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. And there's the bell to start the round. Nice job getting that punch through. You don't want to trade shots. So much hype surrounding this big matchup as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. That punch landed. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. Big swing and a miss with the hook. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both. And at some point, the corner needs to decide we have to protect our fighter. Disaster averted, it seems. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. And there's no doubt about it as we see it again. That body shot did them in. That's lights out right there. One, two, three, four, five. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner is going to have their work cut out for them. All hands on deck. We are witnessing... And they're down. It looks like this one's going to be over. Thank goodness we've got instant replay. We get to see it again. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? Let's talk about Virginovic in that last round. A lot of work needs to be done in this corner. Two knockdowns in the last round. There's always a way back. Don't ever run anybody off. Oh. 
We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Let's see if they can shake off the cobwebs after a disastrous last round. I have no idea what they have left. What? How? How do you come back from something like that? Not on twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. And they're down just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Imagine seeing this punch coming and not being able to do anything about it. You're right, Todd. What a shot. So they're back on their feet, but let's see how much they have left in the tank. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then boom, back in the same spot again. It happened once, you've got away with it. You can do it again. How about that time counter shot? We're at the halfway point. There's no doubt who's won this round so far. The corners must be so, so happy. Down to a tee. Play the plan out to a tee. If they can pick up momentum, and do this over and over and over again. They've got it. This may do it. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Oh, my goodness. I want to see that one more time. Shot from the gods, they say. A shot from the gods. Well, they beat the count and are ready to go again. The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot. Final 10 seconds here. Unless we get some late drama, I think we all know who won this round. So let's talk about Virginovich in that last round. Now, this is a very important break here for this fighter. They've been knocked down twice. Corner might be thinking about stopping it here. They believe their fighter has it in the tank. They ring the bell, and here we go. Is this the beginning of the end after two knockdowns last round? Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that? That's near on impossible, because your head must be all over the place. Your legs would feel like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. Sometimes when you're fighting a counterfighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, the people that make the history of our sport. Here she is bouncing around on her toes, trying to. Oh, and they got rocked! What a moment this is! work but she couldn't finish the job and that would have been a can they finish it oh and that changes everything and down they go as you can see it was a hit to the head that did it let's watch it again a shot from the gods took her out You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. A knockout victory. That's not a knockout.